All right, welcome aboard. Today we are southbound, heading down. We're going to carve some canyons, maybe fly the river a little bit, and uh, yeah, with any luck, maybe we'll find a new spot to land in the big ditch. All right, guys. Now we got great weather, and uh, you know, it should be a darn good time. Let's get to it.
back in my favorite canyon. Glad to be here. It's a freaking beautiful day. It's like 75 degrees, no wind. We got cold and snow coming again, so had to get out here and enjoy a nice day like this. Just could not, could not sit there and <laughs> not take advantage of it. But anyway, found a new spot here in my canyon to land in, and it's it's awesome. It's a lot better than the last spot. The last spot was a really tight fit. Man, it's been fun and fun finding places like this. This is an awesome spot. So there's no rocks here, you know, just some cow patties and a few sticks that I cleaned up after I got here. And now when you take off, you got to blast off out through between the, the dead stuff over here and then, of course, the green trees there. There's an opening. You go out, make a gentle left turn, kind of carve the canyon wall. It's not quite as tight as it looks. The canyon's a lot steeper than the camera makes it look. But it's far enough beyond where you take off because there's a dry river going through there. So if you're not in the air there, you got bigger problems. And then you can make a kind of a gentle turn. Once you get through that turn, it opens up. It'll climb right out of here. This is quite a bit lower than I usually uh, areas I'm flying up in the mountains. This is only 5,500 feet on the ground. Now, density altitude today is pretty high. So I may wait around, shoot some photos. Uh, let it cool off a little bit, see if, uh, hopefully we don't get any wind coming the wrong direction. Of course, that's the, I guess the gamble, you know, chance you take by waiting is, uh, there's no wind now, but it could get unfavorable winds, but as it cools off, that's going to help too. So, all right, we'll be back with you in a little bit. I'm going to go take some photos and, uh, kill a little time, then we'll get loaded up and get out of here. Okay, so we're uh, warming up, getting ready to blast off out of here, out of the canyon. I waited until it cooled off a little bit, but it's just, I guess it must have been closer to 80 degrees, because it still says it's 75 out here. Density altitude 7,600. I don't have that in my favor, but, you know, it is just ever so slightly downhill, and uh, didn't have too much trouble getting out of here. So we're going to blast off. It's one of those places where, you know, you just stop, take an extra minute or two, and check everything a little closer, and make sure everything's just right before you go whaling out of here because uh extremely unforgiving canyon if anything was to go wrong all right well everything looks good for takeoff time to launch this baby let's uh let's send it Oh yeah, shoot, we only used like two-thirds of it. That was awesome. Woo -hoo -hoo, baby! There we go. All right, guys, we're going to end that one here. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. That was, uh, that was a fun day. It was a blast going down there and uh, 
just side note, just uh, anytime you're running a canyon or a river or anything like that low to the ground, it's always a good idea to overfly it from a safe distance, check for power lines and other obstacles. Some of that stuff you don't see in the video, but uh, always do some scouting before I dive down in and make a pass. So, All right, guys, take care. We'll see you on the next one.